Okay guys, so here's just another quick um, tutorial um, just to go over another one of these reports. Um, provide you some tips on things that you can do to, to build even better reports for the for the sales reps. So um, we're going to just jump right into it here. So again, um, on the last tutorial we talked about taking taking pictures of, of things and putting them in the right place, everything like that. So this is a bar style grill and this is a bar style grill and that's totally fine to take a picture of that and put it there because it's a positive finding we can go over it with the homeowners and let them know hey you're in good shape now as I look through this it looks like they actually have this same type of filter and so that's what this picture should be of is the filter itself this pay this picture right here should be saved for the duct seal page because this is obviously a leaky duct and we can get a good picture right there. We can zoom in on it closer and get a couple of good pictures here of this to show leaky ducts. This is, if this isn't properly sealed, you guys, what happens is hot, dirty air from the attic gets pulled in around these flanges, okay? And so we wanna be able to get zoomed up pictures to show them that, hey, look, this has not been properly sealed. It needs to be addressed. Um, but in this particular block, it should just be a picture of the filter there, okay? Um, this is a, a good picture, you know, on this page. Um, if jump ducts or transfer grills aren't accessible or aren't possible, you can do one of two things. You can just leave this page out. There's going to be no recommendation for it. You just leave that page blank, and it will it will not make its way into the presentation, and the sales rep will just know, hey, look, there's no recommendation for this, so it means you just need to leave your doors open. That's an option. But if you take a picture and you want to add this nice note here that says trunk line, no room, I like that too. Just if you're going to take pictures, fill up the page. So take two pictures indicating why there's no room for that or whatever. Okay. Um, so attic's too small, couldn't go in. Uh, if it's a flat roof, that's going to be the case. If it's a roof that has a low pitch, you may or may not be able to actually get in and be able to access the duct lines. It'll, it'll happen. But if that's the case, we can still get pictures of leaky ducts. I'm gonna go back up a page and show you how to do this. So in a case where the home has trunk lines, there's gonna be these registers that are gonna stick out of the wall. You remove that screw and that screw, and when you pull that off, you're gonna be able to get pictures of a couple things. One, right around the edge here, there's gonna be a gap between the actual duct and the sheetrock, and that's gonna be an issue that needs to be properly sealed because what happens is some of that air is lost back into the attic right there but not only that once you've taken that grill off you're going to be able to actually stick your phone your camera inside and you're going to be able to get pictures of the seams inside of here and a lot of times there will be um, a location where you'll be able to see where the actual air drops down from the attic into the trunk line here and you'll be able to see the flanges and how they're not properly sealed. And so you can actually pull two or three of these registers and you can get a lot of pictures that are high quality pictures that can then go into the duct page. And so you can actually get pictures to show the homeowners, look, your ducts are leaky. Um, we've got a picture up here where we've zoomed in and taken a bunch of pictures here of the return. And then that in, in combination with some of these pictures is going to show them that they've got leaky ducts in which case we're going to recommend aeroseal so we need to get the pictures if there's no pictures then the sales rep goes in and says hey you've got leaky ducts just take my word for it and you need to buy this and that's a lot harder to sell it's a lot harder for the customer to buy if they don't have any proof of that and we want to show them that look these old trunk lines are leaky let me show you I've got pictures from the inside of these lines and I can show you how leaky they are so go in, undo a couple screws here. Be careful if it's been painted on around the edges. Maybe carry a little exacto knife, a little razor blade, so you can take a, and do a very fine line around there to, to cut the paint before you peel that off. Because um, the last thing you want to do is, is pull, pull this off and, and peel paint. So don't do that. If everything's been completely sealed up like that, make a note of it and you know, get some pictures of it so that we can see that but make a note of it and then just go back to this and try to get some good pictures of this and and go through the home and see if you can find one or two registers that haven't been painted on like that and and be able to get those pulled and, and get some good pictures there okay 
Um, when it comes to the attic seal, believe it or not, guys, we can actually air seal a home from the inside. We can we can do a, a pretty decent job of sealing up the attic from the inside of the house. And uh, one of the ways we do that is, well, there's, there's a couple ways. Again, I'll go back to this. This is actually an attic leak right around the edge of this where the sheetrock doesn't completely connect and it's not sealed up. So that's one, one place where you could take a good picture or two and that could go on this attic leak page. But the other thing that happens, you guys, is inside of the attic where these penetrations are, well, the other end of that is the light switch and the, and the outlet on the wall. So if you just take your screwdriver and you pull off the face plate, you're going to see a gap around there too where the sheetrock and everything like that, there's a gap that goes up into the attic. So you can actually pull those, take a couple pictures, and you can put that on this page right here. And then the sales rep can go in and we sell we sell what's called an interior air seal. And it's the same price as doing an attic seal because it does the same job. We're just stopping airflow. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. Stop the airflow. And so when we can do it from the attic, it's easy. We don't have to move furniture. We don't have to mess around with things. It's It's a little bit easier for us to do it in some cases. Some cases it's harder because of the size of the attic or whatever. But we can do a pretty good job of sealing up a home as far as airflow from inside. So take those kind of pictures and put them in the report. Again, we want to be able to help these people um, be more efficient in their home and sealing up that thermal break, those thermal breaks, it's a big deal. So get the pictures. It, it'll take you a few minutes to undo a couple screws throughout the house and get those kind of images, but you can do it. You can go underneath the kitchen sink the bathroom sinks and you can find where that pipe that that pipe penetration for the gases goes into the wall and there's going to be a gap around there it it's unless it's a brand new home that they the builder did a really good job uh, it's like you know nine times out of ten or, or or more you're going to find this gap and that's where airflow is going to get penetrate and it's going to pass back and forth and so we can seal that up from inside of the house so we need to get the picture so that we can show that um, when it comes to insulation, if you can't get in the attic, you can't get a picture of the insulation. If you can't get in there to get a picture, then we're not going to be able to get in there to add insulation. So in that regard, there's really nothing that we can do. But just make sure that you really can't get into the attic. Um, you know, if you can get in there, get in there. If you can't, then don't. But make notes of that. I like here it says attic, attic's too small, did not go in. That's okay. If it's really that, that low of a pitch and you can't get in there, the last thing we want to do is go up in there and recommend insulation and then not be able to actually do it. So um, more window pictures. Uh, again, I like that it's indicating where these windows are because when it comes to talking to the homeowner about window film and different things like that, it's, it's good to help them to be able to relate to it. But once again, I like to take those pictures from the outside. Um, easier for measurements and I can get good clean pictures from the outside. Um, so we just go back up here so this is good you got the right recommendation here they've, they've already got a bar style grill can't do jump ducks because of the trunk line attic seal couldn't see this is again we know now that we can do an attic seal uh, manual duct seal we may or may not do the manual duct seal most likely we're going to do an arrow seal which is what you recommended which is great insulation inaccessible that's okay window film you recommended water heater you recommended and that's all good so um, that's all I have on this one guys